Welcome everyone. In this video, I will review the Object 259A stats, which is a tier 8 Russian premium heavy tank. After that, I will analyze some images with the armor of this tank. So, let's get started with the set of this tank. We have here a gun with 122mm caliber with 420 alpha damage. This can high up to 515 and between 315 and 515. The DPM of this gun is 1752, which is a low DPM for any tier 8 tank, which means we have 14.3 sec reload for a 420 alpha damage. The gun depression of this tank is 6 degree and elevation is 16. So the 6 degree of gun depression for a Russian heavy tank is actually nice to have. The accuracy of this gun is 0.4 dispersion value and aim time 3.07. This means really really bad stats, the aim time is really long and the dispersion value you will miss even in fully aimed stationary positions from 200 and 300 meters and even closer ranges with this dispersion value. So the base penetration of this tank has APCR ammunition with 200 33 millimeters of penetration and he has heat ammunition as gold with 285 millimeters of penetration values. The HP of this tank is 1450, it could be 1500 or even above, so yeah, the armor of this tank hull, we have here the hull and the turret, front, side and rear, which means this tank can, could be a good, really good size scraper with 100 mm of side armor. The turret here we have front, side and rear. So the tank actually well armored even from the rear side as you, as you can see. And uh, even from the rear uh, left and right side. Turret in the hull, really really good armor protection. So yes, this tank weighs in 60 tons with 900 horsepower. This means we have here 60 km per hour forward speed and 12 km per hour backward speed. But I doubt that uh, this 900 horsepower will be enough to reach this uh, 60 km per hour forward speed. I will show you in a minute why. Camo value is a heavy tank so don't have to expect anything about the camo and the view range of this tank is 380 meters actually is really good considering the defender has 350 meters of view range and signal range uh, 720. So let's go and check the the speed of this tank, the speed limit actually if this will reach the this 60 meters per hour. So I have here the object 260. The object 259A is the down down version of the object 260. It's a combination between IS-7, object 260 and IS-4. So this tank has the same 6 km per hour forward speed and also this tank weighs in 61.3 tons and our object 259A weighs in 60 tons. So the horsepower in this tank is 1268 but in our tier 8 tank we have only 900 horsepower, which means this tank will reach the object 260, actually reaches the 60 km per hour on hard terrain. On medium terrain, this tank goes with uh, 46 km per hour and soft terrain 31 km per hour. So that's why, and this tank has got 1200 horsepower and with the field modification of max level, even 1300. But our tier 8 tank has got only, as you can see, only 900 horsepower so that's why with the same weight limit with the same weight 60 ton actually the object 260 weights in 61.5 ton so one plus 1.5 ton that's not a significant amount of weight but i doubt that this uh, tank even with turbo charge turbo charger will reach this 60 km per hour forward speed with this 900 horsepower so yes Let's go now and uh, analyze some images here. This tank, as you can see, has uh, flat sh shoulder plates like the Object 260 and the IS-7, which means these tanks can't side scrape because if you are trying to side scrape in this tank, this will be green visible and enemy will pan you and even amorek you here from this because the tank has amorek compartment here from the both sides. As you can see, this tank has space armor with, uh, this is spaced, only spaced armor, so if you're shooting here, nothing will happen. This is actually armor of this tank, so keep this in mind, really good. This tank could be side screen, but if you're exposing the shoulder plate, you are dead. 
and seen like this and we have here the big cupola as you can see this cupola is visible and uh, i would say it will be penetrable with uh, 200 220 millimeters of armor penetration so the cupola is really really big and uh, it's visible obviously and we have here a flat plate above the turret in the top of the turret here which means with heat emission the enemy can pan you here at this uh, can overmatch your top of the turret with 122mm caliber guns and heat ammunitions. So keep this in mind. This looks already two big spots here and uh, here no good no good force escaping. Yeah. This is the tank from the back. It's just like the object 260 as you can see. Same loadout, same thing. Really really it looks good, obviously. Really really good. So another picture from the side as you can see the cupola is actually will be a huge problem a visible problem here the overmatchable top of the turret top of the yeah here is pretty flat this flat plate looks just bad i would say and yes so thank you guys for watching please like and subscribe